everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Timu haul. Thank you Timu for sponsoring this video. I wanted to let you guys know that if you use my code to claim up to 100 coupons by downloading the Timu app, you can get this water bottle. It's normally $8.99 and you can get it for 43 cents. And it's so cool because, well back here it tells you um, it holds 64 ounces, but on this side it's really fun because you, it says 7 a.m. rise and shine, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m., 9 p.m. So basically it's telling you by 7 a.m. you need to drink this much water. By 9 a.m. your water should be down to this level. By 11 a.m. your water should be down to this level, et cetera, et cetera. Now if you drink more than 64 ounces, obviously you can refill this and start over again. But how fun is this? And it has a really nice handle, love that. Um, a really nice straw and a cover for it so you don't have to worry about your straw getting all gross. So download the Timu app. You can get this water bottle for 43 cents. Let's continue on with the haul. I got some great items and I'm so excited to show them to you. I got this pet brush and the reason why I got it is it's been going viral it's like super popular so basically you brush your dog and then you push the button and the whole clump of hair just comes off so you don't have to like try and pick all the hair out and my dog uh dog number two Xena is uh husky and whip it mix so she has a lot of that husky hair and this will come in really handy so I'm very excited about that and then next, I got this, and this is silicone, and it has these, I don't know if you can see here, these kind of lifted ridges here. Now, this is a reusable sheet, silicone sheet thing that you stick in your air fryer when you're cooking. So, we have the paper ones that you can dispose of each time, but, you know, that's not always so great for the environment when you're always using disposable items, right? So I got this because I thought this would be great to use in our air fryer. Um, and then we can just wash it, throw it in the dishwasher, and we don't have to worry about a mess and all that jazz. So that's cool. Oh, I got another thing for the dog. So Xena, she is my Whippet Husky mix, and she gets very scared of noises and, ooh, this is pretty, this is a medium, but it does stretch. Okay, so this is meant to go around their ears. So when we're blow drying her after um, a bath, you just put this around over their head and it goes over their ears, kind of like a headband would, like, or in the winter time, if you're wearing one of those. So right off the bat, this seems pretty small, but she has a very tiny head and I got a size medium. So this would be great for when after baths and I wanna blow dry her, you know, she'll sit there, but she doesn't really like the hair dryer. So this will come in really handy for that. They use these a lot in grooming as well so that the dog's ears don't hurt while you're blow drying. For my Golden Girls collection, I got these Golden Girls tarot cards. And I've seen these on Amazon. I don't have them. You guys know I have a very large Golden Girls collection. So I needed to get these to go with my collection. So fun. I love it. How cute is this little tiny packaging? Love it. Okay. So I got the Golden Girls tarot cards. These are so fun. So how, let's see. It says, um, Featuring TV's Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia, these brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly illustrated cards are a bold look into your future. So that's super fun. These are really cute. I like them. Then I got a t. Oh, I just ripped the bag. I got a t-shirt. This is the first time I've ever uh, ordered any clothing from Timu. So let's see. It says, I got a 1X because I wanted it to be bigger and this is coming from overseas. Oh, wow. This is a huge shirt. Okay. Um, and, you know, I wanted to make sure it wasn't too, too small. So I got this one. It says, I came, I saw, I had anxiety, so I left. <laughs> this is so me. It's not even funny. So, and I got it in this olive green. This will definitely fit. Um, I did read in the reviews that... Some people said they ordered a size um, size or two up thinking it might be too small and it actually wasn't. 
but I just wanted to go, I would rather have a shirt be bigger than too tight. I just, I like the looseness. It makes me feel better. So I'm super excited about this and I have green eyes. So this will probably look really good on me. Yeah, this shirt is huge. Maybe it won't look that big when it's on though. You know what I mean? So that's cool. You guys know I have an anxiety disorder and I like to crack jokes. So I think that's good. And I got this. So this is a game. I love solitaire. I love games and especially solitaire style games. So I got this because I had seen it um, before online. So basically what you do is you roll the dice. Okay, so I have a three and a two. So I can either lift the five or I can lift a three and a two, but the goal is to get all of these lifted up. So now I got two twos, so I can do a four. I think this is how it's played. It doesn't have any instructions, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I've seen people have it online. So I got a six and a three, so I can do the nine. So see how fun this is? There's also ones that you can get that have two of these, so you can do a two-player game. Um, I got a one and a two. I don't have a three, so I guess I roll again. Seven. So anyways, you can just keep track on how long it takes you to clear the board. Just a fun little solitaire game. I really enjoy um, solitaire. So I like that. I was super excited to get that. And I have to talk a little quiet. My youngest son, who will be 16, um, he's really into Vikings and that kind of stuff. So I got him this ring and it has these Viking, I don't know, it said it was Viking symbols but it's an anxiety ring and you can spin it. So if he has anxiety, you know, he can just sit here and kind of go like this. So I thought this would be a fun ring. He loves black. So I got him that ring. Let me show it to you up close. Um, oh, and then on the insides, I don't know, there you go. You can see it has gold. Um, I can't remember what it says in there, but it has, these are all these different symbols. And then the top, let's see, there we go you can kind of see that has these symbols going across the top. So yeah, it's really cool. I think he's going to love it. His birthday is in a week. So I'm excited to give him those. And then same along those lines, I got him this. And I know that <laughs> this isn't for everybody, but he's really into this kind of stuff. He loves Pirates of the Caribbean and all that kind of stuff. So I got him this. It's very heavy, very well made. Steel on the inside. Um... Oh, it's got a little bit of like glue or something on it right here, but I'll wash that off. But pretty cool. He's going to love it. And there's like this velvet stuff on the bottom. So I think he's really going to like this. And I'm excited to give it to him for his birthday. Okay, so let's get into some craft items now. So I got a brayer. So what you're used to using these for is like when you're... um this one actually said it was for diamond painting, which I thought it would be kind of cool. But so basically when you're using like the jelly plate or whatever, you can use this to roll your paint. I actually got this because I thought it would be kind of nice when you're collaging. Instead of using a little tool, I can just use this to roll over the top to like uh, make my glue stick to the paper. You know what I mean? Smooth it out, push it down. And that way I'm, I'm not scraping the image. I'm just rolling over the image. So I got this for glue booking. I thought it would be pretty fun. It's very lightweight, it's plastic. So that'll be really easy to use. And then I got some more words. These are word stickers. I really liked my last bunch, so I got some more. And this time I got them in colors. So that's fun. So all purples, pinks, purples, blues, pinks, oranges, greens, and yellows, more greens, more blues and purples, greens and blues, and then all different colors. Aren't these so pretty? I absolutely love these. And I think I got some more too. Let me grab those real quick. Where are they? Hold on. And then I got this pack here and it's a little beat up in the shipping process. Let's see, where's the... And this is two sheets. You can see here, it's pretty wrinkled. Um, I'll try, I'll try to salvage this, but they're, they're pretty messed up. That's unfortunate, but I'll do my best. Um, I'm really bummed because I really liked these. I thought they'd be great for like summer 
uh, ATCs and stuff, but they're just, you know, really happy. Um, whoa, have fun. Okay. I think that's supposed to say fun. <laughs> anyway, so I got these as well. These are really cute. Um, I don't know, just, I'm in my happy place. This is the good life. Live in the moment. Okay. All right, so then I got these. Why are they all in purple? I cannot imagine I would have picked this. So what happens is sometimes when I pick stuff, if it's out, they'll send me something um, else instead. So I have some more here. These are really pretty. Um, a happy pirate on the thief, thief ship of life. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so basically I got two of each. So those are really pretty. More effort now, more choices in the future. Execution is a kind of presence of. Okay, so some of these, I'm not quite sure the English translated, right? Um, but yeah, these are really cute. Calm your mind, secretly become very strong. I don't know. Okay, so these are really cute. Hard work and rush. What? Those who are willing to be subtle. Let's be honest, don't go against the grain. Oh, I see. Okay, so some of these, okay. All right, I get it now. Some of these, a the sentence goes off to the other side. That's why it wasn't making sense to me. So like here it says, concentrate on. And I was, why would it just say that? Okay, so concentrate on. And then down here it says, doing one thing for a lifetime. So sometimes it goes over onto the next line. That makes sense. Okay, so I got those as well. And then I got one more pack here. Okay, so these are also different colors. A little bent, but that's okay. Ooh, I love these colors with the teals and the blues. Blues and the purples, greens and blues, reds and peaches, pinks and burgundies, and then some oranges. So these are really cute. These are really fun because, you know, with our artist trading cards and stuff, we're always using, like, either black words or white words. There's not a lot with color, and I really wanted these because I like that they're, they're, there's color in the background. So those are all my word stickers. Okay. It said it was for storage for, like, your... Um, uh, die cuts. So I wanted to use this. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So there's different size pockets. And so there's these smaller ones and then, oh, this goes up here to close it. Okay. I see what those are for. And then is there another, oh, and then this has little flaps. Okay. Do these have flaps? Oh, they all have flaps. Okay. Yeah, so these are all different sizes. This is amazing. So what I mean by die cuts, I mean like, I'll show you here in a second, but like these, you know, different die cuts, you can put them in these pouches so that they don't get bent. So that is fun. And then open the binder and you put all these in and you have all different sizes. And then you can pick here between black or white. So basically you just, let's see if I want it to go like this. Okay, I gotta refigure. <laughs> I'll figure that out. Don't worry about it. I'll have Bob do it. Okay, so that's cool. I'm gonna put all my die cuts in there because I kind of have them all over the place. So while we're talking about die cuts, let's look at the three that I got. I think I only got three. So I got this one, which is circles, a bunch of little tiny circles. I thought this would be fun to cut out and then you can use for collage and stuff like that. And then I got this one, which is super fun because you can make your own tickets and then it's even perforated so you can tear them when you're done. And then this is like um, a, a movie strip, like um, a negatives, you know what I mean? So that's really fun. And then this one is typically made for card making, but I thought if I cut papers into these squares and then I could collage in like a grid with these. So I thought that would be really fun to do some uh, collage with the different squares and stuff like that. So once I get this put together right, which I did not just now, um, I will put all of these into my new little folder. So, and listen, you could also use this, you don't have to use it for your die cuts. You could use this for glue book images, you know, if you wanted to put all your little fussy cuts and stuff in here. So that's pretty cool. Or even your clear stamps. You could put clear stamps in here too. So yeah, that's exciting. I'm excited for that. Looks like some kind of papers. Oh yeah. Okay. I love how it's um, wrapped with some jute twine. That's really cool. Um, I need to get this off though, because I want to see what this is. 
Okay, so it is paper, that's right. Okay, so this is like maps, different map papers. So this will be fun to collage with. That's super cute. I like that. I'm not sure if I ordered this. I may have, but this might be something that they replaced something that was out when I ordered it. So the gold foil sheets. Yep, it is. Okay, it's super, you have to be super gentle. I just ripped this because I didn't realize my fingernail went through it. So basically you put some glue down and then you put this gold leaf over the top of it and then wherever your glue was, the gold leaf will stick. So this will be so fun for collage and different art prints and that kind of stuff. So I got a bunch of those. I think there's 50 or 100 in here. There's a lot, look at all that. So I will have gold leaf sheets for days and I'm so excited to use these. I've always wanted some. These, and I thought they would be really fun for Happy Mail. So it says, warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. So I got a bunch of these. Aren't they cute? I thought these would be so fun. So these are stickers that I can put on my Happy Mail. I thought that was cute. Or you could put them on um, a birthday gift or any kind of gift, really. Or even if you bake somebody cookies, you could put this on the little bag of cookies or box of cookies. How cute is that though, right? Um, I got this stencil because you guys know I love to do neurographic art. I can't find my circle stencil that I love to use. Normally I just freehand my drawing, but I do like to use a circle stencil from now and for, uh, now and again. So I got this one, it has all different sizes so that I can draw whatever circles that I want in my um, abstract art that I like to draw. So that's fun and it's a ruler. And I got this three pack of double-sided tape. I have a fun project that I'm gonna do with these. The reason why I got these is because they're really wide. I think they're seven eighths of an inch, so almost an inch wide. And normally the, my double-sided tapes that I use are maybe like a quarter inch. I usually get the skinny ones. So I have a really fun project idea for these that I will do in a video. And I got some metal corners for books. These are pretty tiny. I did not realize they were so small, but they're perfect. I got silver this time because I never had silver. I always had like a bronze. So I thought these were gorgeous. So I got a pack of these. I think I got, I think there's 50 in here, if I remember correctly. So those are cute. If you've ever wanted to try these in the corner of your books, your glue books or your junk journals, definitely get them from Timu. They're a great deal. I'm supposed to be able to cut things with. So like, oh, oh my gosh. It goes like this, just like a real pen. Okay, so basically, it showed like cutting um, washi tape. So let's get a washi tape real quick. I'm just gonna grab one. I mean, I think you can probably use it for like magazine images and stuff too. So let's try that out as well. Okay, so, oh, I have, I have this goat and chicken right here that I need to cut. Okay, so there's this very sharp little blade here on the tip. So I think I go this way. Wow, I barely pushed. Oh my gosh, it works. Okay, let's see what it's like on paper. So I'll just cut. <gasps> oh my goodness, this might be my new favorite tool. Oh, I went too far. Okay, hold on. Yes, it totally works. It's cutting it. Oh, there we go. See, it's a learning curve. I did great on this one. So, wow, this is cool. And... You just have to be careful because it's like a pen. Well, that's fun, love that. Okay, so that was a success. I'm gonna keep this out because I also got one of these pens that I've been wanting for a long time and it was super affordable on Timu. So you get two extra blades. Now I heard this one takes a little time to get used to as well. So this is also a pen and it spins around. And okay, so. <laughs> This one I heard takes quite a bit of time to get used to, at least the, the other brand that's on. Okay, so I guess, how do you do this? First of all, let's start here. Wow, that cuts so good. Oh my gosh. Let's see, can I cut around this chicken?
Wow, that's pretty cool. And it just spins. Okay, and then this does come with instructions. So basically what this is, is one of those light up boards. So you can have something underneath that you wanna trace or if you just need to be able to see what you're drawing better. So let's see, hopefully this didn't get ruined because my box was a little wonky. Oh, it's perfect, okay. So let's see, where do you plug this in at? Oh, and it lights up. But basically you put something on here like this. Oh, there's a control key. Oh, you can make it even brighter. Oh boy. So then when you're drawing or you're writing, you can see what's coming up underneath. So like if I wanted to put this down and then put, I don't know, would it show up with this? Let's see. Yeah, see I put this paper over, I could copy what I'm drawing. Um, underneath. So it's basically like a tracing tablet. But also if you're drawing, you can see a lot better when you have bright light. It's a lot brighter than what the camera's showing. But yeah, three different lights. That is so cool. Okay, moving on. I got some more stencils. I got this one. Um, let's see here. This one is just basically a bunch of letters and numbers. Just for, you know, you can use stamps. Um, you can use stamp pads like this, you know, one of these over the top, or you can do it with paint, but I love these. It's very grungy, super cute. Yeah, this way. I thought this would, or is this upside down? How's this go? Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Um, I thought this would be really fun too for uh, mixed media and that kind of stuff. So this is a fun one. It did get a little bit bent, but it's nothing, it's not that big of a deal. I could lay it under a book and it would be totally fine. I also got this. It is a diamond painting kit and it's a pug, but it's also a frame. So it has a little stand. How cool is that? And then this is the image that it's gonna be, is this pug right here. And it says pug life. How cool is that? I cannot wait to do this. This is just sheets of parchment paper. I get these not only for cooking with my family, but also because these are really fun to use in like junk journals and stuff because it's like a thinner paper and it's all like crinkly and stuff. So I love to use these and that kind of thing. So I got these, super cute, love them. And, oh, here's another um, die cut. This is another one where I thought it would be fun to cut out different papers and make like a grid layout with these. Super fun, love these. I can't wait to put all of these in my new um, holder. That'll be fun. Let's take a look. Oh, this is pretty. It's not postcards, but like postage, vintage style retro paper. Ooh, oh, it's like steampunky. It's a steampunk um, seahorse. So I think you get two of each paper. These are very steampunky, I like it. Ooh, look at that one. These are cute. Ooh, I like that it has the number right there. Well, these will be fun for collage. Super cute. Look, it even has a little lady here. Oh, these are too cute. If you like steampunk as well, these are really fun. Very steampunky. Next, I got some mica powders. Now, I've never had mica powders before. So basically, it says it's an epoxy resin dye, adhesive pigment, soap making, DIY slime, bath bombs, yada, yada. So you add water to these and they become pigments. So you can use them for, how do I get this open? I guess you have to be smarter than the box itself. So let's open these up. Oh, wow, look at all the colors. Oh, and they're all shimmery. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted some mica powders. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, look at the cute little, hold on. <laughs> it's the cute little spoon to dig some out. Well, these are super fun. I cannot wait to use this in my crafting. What's this one? Ooh, the C. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, this one's like champagne. What do they call it? Wheat. Looks more like champagne to me. Gold. These are all shimmery. Ooh, this forest green. Oh gosh, these are so pretty. Love it. Love the color selection as well. So you can see here how shimmery these are. So I'm very excited to use my new mica powders. 
And I got these. Um, they're a little smaller than I thought they were going to be. What size do they? I thought they said, I don't know. I thought they said four by six. I guess this was right. I guess in my brain, I was thinking something totally different. But, ooh. They're just little tiny bubble, bubble mailers. I needed something a little bit smaller for sending just a little something something. So I thought these would be really cute and these match my other bubble mailers that I use for sending out Happy Mails and winners of my giveaways. Let's go paper pack. Ooh, there's stickers in here. That's fun. Look at all these stickers. So these are like washi stickers. Oh, these are fun. There's like moons and stars, planets. Oh, that's fun. And then what's this? You get some papers. Oh, I've had one of these kits before. These are fun. You get all kinds of little bits of ephemera that you can play with in your junk journals and your glue books. You can collage with them, ATCs, whatever. Oh, these are too stinking cute. This is all like space themed. There's some tickets. Got the moon. What's this? Some more papers, got some maps, sailboats. Look at all this fun stuff. Ooh, look at the little tickets. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny and petite. I love them. Just little fun things that you can play with. These are fun too because you can use these in your collage just as is, or you can stamp on them as well. So that's fun because they're blank. Ooh, this is supposed to look like it's torn. Oh, well, this is fun. Ooh, look at all these. Wow, you get a lot of stuff in this kit. Deco paper, 74 pieces, I think. Feels like it's a lot more than that. This is a ton. One, I believe these are all flowers, but let's check it out. These are, ooh, I like this. Um, whispers Among the Flowers, 100 pieces of vintage paper. That's right. So these are little tiny bits of paper that you can collage with and look how pretty they are. If you made them, oh, they have brown ones too. Everything's on craft paper. So you have craft paper ones. Oh, these are too pretty. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love these. And then you have ones on a whiter paper. <gasps> I should do a master board just with these papers. Oh my gosh. These are stunning stunning look at all these flowers oh this is too cute of little bottles now the reason why i got these and this is really cool i didn't even realize i had it they have little tiny funnels so these are great for and look at this little spout that you can put on the tip so look how <laughs> tiny your glue could come out so basically i got these so you can put glue in them but look how tiny this is and look how long the spout is. So you could glue or you could use it for paint. Look, obviously I got a ton and I have different sizes, but they have, this is why I got them, the little tiny nozzle like the glue that I like to use. So you put those on there. Now you fill this up with your uh, glue. Why can't I get this on here? Okay, you know what? That bottle's driving me nuts. Let's go with this one. How come I can't? Am I using the wrong lid? Let's try this one. Okay, I think I'm... Oh, there we go. Okay, so now you put your glue in here, and now you have the little tiny spout. I'm wondering, what is this for? Wow, you get a ton of... Uh, tips too, like way more than you have bottles. What does this do? Oh, that puts a lid on your glue. That's cool. Does it go on here too? No, it doesn't. So there's no lid for these, I don't think, but I think you just take this off. I really like these, these are fun. And then you have different sized bottles so you can put paints in them, glue in them, uh, whatever you want to put. So I have, um, how many ounces is this? This is milliliters. So this is a hundred. This is 50. And then this must be like, what, 25? This is 30. So you get two of the bigger ones, 
three of the medium size ones and then three of the smaller ones. That is cool. And four funnels. Oh wait, I got more stuff in here. Oh, you have these caps too. Oh, that's what I just showed. Okay, so yeah, wow, you get a lot of stuff in this. Holy moly, I didn't realize I got this many bottles. And I just use um, a stainless steel pin that I put in the top. If you don't use stainless steel, it'll rust. So I just put a stainless steel tip on it. And that's what you can do with these as well. Okay, so this is a three pack of little containers that I can store fussy cuts in. So they're only like an inch tall. Um, and I think they're like seven inches long. Let me see here. They are, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna go by the inside. They're about six and three quarters um, long on the inside and then about an inch high. And then I can put like my fussy cuts or stickers in here. So they came in a pack of three. So I definitely will get these again. I just wanted to get one pack the first time to see if I liked them. They close really nice, actually, better than the craft store ones. So I'm gonna order probably a few more of these next time. These are really good. I like these a lot. This would be great for sticker storage as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to download the Timo app you can find all the links in the description box down below. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and until next time, bye.